Indian Reservation, the northern part of Arizona, around the Four Corners, and it was quite by chance that we ended up here doing this video hookup. Video hookup? Yeah. Doing this video hookup, we met John and Rich back in August. They end, it was by chance that they ended up at our school, and from there we we started up this internet project and we never expected to be out here in London. So I guess every you could say that we're all grateful, speaking on behalf of the group, to be here. And we just like to share our experience of being in London. Yeah, so much has happened since we've been here. We've been here, this is our, it's been about a week now. We got back from Melton earlier today. We went to go visit with the George Ward School. I guess we were their exchange students. They took us home with them. And when we left, we got stuff like this. We got little ties from the school. We got plaid mugs. mugs. It was really nice out there. The countryside was really beautiful. The greenness I saw back home, it's so dry. Okay, reservation is land set aside by the government for um, Native Americans. For Native Americans. Yeah, I, I know. What, uh, yeah, what, how big is the reservation? Okay. How many people live on. For us, you know, it's it's quite different because um, us Navajos, the Nest, we have the largest reservation than any other Native American in the United States. So, right in the center of us, we have like really small the Hopi reservation. Yeah. And right now, I guess you could say there's a lot of quarrel going on, but... There's trouble lot, between... Yeah, trouble between the land is caused... It's caused by the government, yeah, kind yeah. of bringing the strip mining and everything. Yeah, 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 yeah. And right now we have, like, you know, the grandmas out there, the women out there fighting on behalf of their families and everything. Yeah, yeah. So. Uh, my grandpa is a Navajo code talker, and he yeah. fought in World War II. Uh, and so... The Navajo Code Talkers on the reservation are looked at as heroes and yeah. also world worldwide, as you can say. Well, it doesn't. Um, no. It doesn't seem like um, the U the U.S. government really gives them much credit. I mean, we like. I mean, we believe that you know they're um, they're the reason that we won the war. Our language was what was used. As code, so I mean, they don't really like recognize that. I, that's what I believe. I didn't realize that our coming here would make such a great impact on people. And when we were down in Meltem, they brought the, the news down. I think it's BBC. We weren't expecting that. You know, I didn't. I, I didn't realize that like our values, like the way our tradition and our culture is. We didn't realize like how great it is. Well, I I mean I already knew how great it was, but I didn't realize that other pe the way other people like thought of us. We got over that little we took care of that little stereotype. You know, we don't live in teepees, that kind of thing. To clarify that down there, and it was nice to meet all those people and to know that we actually did help them, just like Brenda said, helping others as we help ourselves. Well, I came like I wanted to eat, you know, that was like one of my favorite things to do is eat, but when I got out here, everything was so different. It wasn't really what we expected, and when we were down in Melchum, we ordered things that we didn't even know, like, what it was. <laughs> we want some mutton. <laughs> We wanted to butcher for the people out in the countryside, but we found out that there was, due to health laws, we weren't able to butcher for them. And I thought it was like, like pretty like normal for them, but 
found out that what they do with their sheep and their cattle is send them to slaughterhouses and you have to be licensed to do that. So our butchering didn't work. But that's okay because the sheep probably tastes different anyways. <laughs> We're happy to be back in London again in the city. The countryside was pretty quiet. There wasn't really much to do. Crazy people that drive. John and Rick. <laughs> I mean, we're driving down the road and I'm practically screaming because, you know, it's different for us because the, the driving, the wheel is like on the other side and then they drive on the opposite side and I, I started like thinking, you know, if, if this was my city, you know, I would have made it more organized, everything was like so much together, you know, I would have been like, road. then I start thinking like, you know, if I had my own city, you know, I'd do it like this, but it's pretty nice all together. Well, back at home, okay, the subway here is something like a little tunnel that you walk through and then back at home a subway is like you guys too, but I found it like quite weird that you guys called it too. Now I like felt like a mole or something. Oh, no, I think that everybody like everybody, you know, back home this thing should continue because yeah, it helped us, it helped everybody else. These guys are pretty, uh, like, really great people. So we, we're working with, like, two different people right now, Richard, John, and also with the George Ward School. So this is something that definitely has to continue. We want out even though, like, we're leaving, we're graduating from school. But we'd like this to continue with other students back home because, yeah. I mean, it's just, like, Indescribable. Yeah, this is our first time too, so everything is just kind of new, and we're we're you know learning ourselves as we go. But next year and years after, it'll become more organized, and we'll be able to start up better programs and new projects and stuff. So encourage it to go on. And you're learning a lot about computers and technology. Yeah, yeah, yeah. a lot stuff that you didn't know existed before. I mean, I never knew that I could get my own web page until. This little project started with Richard and John. Well, Brett, when he was still around, um, show me to. Um, we didn't know we had a webmaster. Now that yeah. he's here, we're learning the ropes and everything is going well. We we learned a lot about ourselves, about our identity. We we um, had a chance to ask ourselves questions that we normally don't ask, you know, ourselves and. Um, we got to meet new people, we got to meet, see new things, and this trip has definitely changed my life. I see things with new insights, and, you know, I look at things differently, I have a different perspective, and it's, it's really changed a lot. I think I've grown a lot these past two weeks. And I think uh, the other thing that is very beneficiary is that we don't get to just um, learn things within ourselves, our own identity, we get to teach other people about their identities and what their backgrounds and why it is important for them to, to know their backgrounds and their culture and their traditions. So we get to teach people that and a lot of values come out of those people and that we make them better, better people while we make ourselves better people at the same time too. So it's really good. Well, everyone on this trip changed. We all opened much open more to each other and we came closer. Um, at first in class we were much quieter to each other, but now we started speaking to each other and getting more personal and Ashley here opened up more and he expressed himself. All well, the women around here are very fine. Um, you know, we was out with him, you know, checking them out. And so, London has had a real impact on me. Basically, things such as my personality, it kind of brought me out of, you know, into the light. And so, somebody else can take over. Oh, well, that's where our project fits in too. This is exactly like the, the focus of our project. What we're learning out here, we're taking it back home and we're going to teach others and we're hoping that, you know, it continues. Oh, yes, oh, oh.